What's up guys, it's Skillzerg. Today I'm going to teach you to be a Skillzerg. All my weapon sets, my armor, everything, and then I'm going to do a demonstration on everything to show you how it works. And my custom names for stuff. Let's do this. Alright, first of all, our weapons. We have a shock bat. You want an electric weapon, it doesn't have to be a bat, but you definitely want to always keep an electric weapon on you because you need those to take out frost and fire zombies, which are immune to everything except for either their weakness element or electric. Electric can hit all elements. Next is what I call the trash opener. It's just a heavy bat. It's a green one. You want a cheap weapon for this. Now you can use any weapon you want, but I just prefer a bat because it does more damage and it's fast for clearing stuff. Uh, but mind you again, um, you could use any weapon for that bat. For it's just for clearing like metal cans and boxes. So next is the bow. You specifically want fire arrows for your bow. That's what I call crowd control. So uh, left to right, the electric batch is for clearing elements. Um, Alright, so let's go to shotgun. Right here, this is what I call the box opener. Now your box opener can also clear mortars and other big tough enemies. It's also your boss killer but the name is just box opener. You want your normal fences. These are for defending. Uh, you don't want to go with heavy expensive fences. You just want to go with normal fences. You could use these or barbed wooden, wire, wooden barbed wire fences. But I prefer to use normal fences because it's just six iron. Obviously your med spray kits because you gotta have healing. Your metal fences are gonna help you with the crowd control. We'll show you later. And sandbags, you always want at least one sandbag on you because there are plenty areas on the map you can't get to without a sandbag or a watchtower, and sandbags are cheaper, so always keep a sandbag on you. Next, your uh, binoculars. You don't have to have binoculars, I just carry them because if I mistap the R1 button. And then your grenades, which I call mortar cleaners because mortars are annoying, and if you angle the grenade right, you can throw building to building on rooftops in order to hit some of the mortars and some of the hard mode missions. I use decoys. You also don't need decoys because you can use your Cuban crystals as decoys. They both work just as well. But I just like to keep the decoys with me. Let's go to armor. Now you'll notice with all three, the first piece of armor I'm going to show you, they all have dex level 2. Now, me personally, I prefer dex over all other stats because it increases your attack speed and your normal movement speed. So, from 35 to 70 dex, you get double the normal walk pace and times 4 your running speed just by doubling your dex. So, dex is definitely good. Level 2 dex is exactly 7 dex and stat points. Now, notice my helmet has food and drink on it. This means when I consume food or drink, sometimes it doesn't take it. It doesn't consume it, it just gives me the stats for it. Next is my armor. The defense doesn't really matter. Defense means nothing right now at this stage in the game. But you do specifically want ammo and arrows. Uh, the consumption efficiency increases with ammo and arrows. You want both of those because we're going to be using ammo and arrows throughout our gear set. And this means that sometimes when you fire it doesn't take the ammo. It also allows our two-shot shotgun to have multiple shots sometimes. Next is our gloves. Now we really just want the level 2 dex on the gloves. I mean strength is, uh, it gives you more damage, but dex gives you the same amount of damage while giving you more move speed. Um, with the heavy speed though, you could change the heavy attack speed for something else. I just prefer that for what I use. And then of course level 2 dex on the pants. However, there's a second pair of pants which can be just as good. This one right above it, it weighs more, but it actually, as you can see, it has an ammo slot. So you could use the ammo slot pants over dex if you wanted to for more ammo. I just prefer the dex because the dex is, I like moving fast, and dex lets you move faster, both for weapons and normal move speed. Alright, so let's go on to how the weapons work. We're going to do a tutorial on all of those in just a minute. First, uh, we keep the air tank, the wormhole extract, obviously. So these two, you don't have to have survival bags. You can switch them out, but I prefer them for carrying stuff. Next is your flame arrows. That's your most important gear slot. When they have a medium one, you're going to want the medium one as well. But yeah, your small flame arrow quiver, definitely grab that. That's going to help us clear enemies. And then we have our two gadget slots. You don't have to have those. You could change them out, but I prefer those two. All right, let's go ahead and up our ammo. You can see I have a lot of ammo. I'm going to show you how I got that early, uh, later in the video. Actually, right after this, we're doing tutorials. All right, let's do some tutorials, guys. Let's do this. First up, the trash opener. The trash opener is that regular green bat I'm using. You could use anything for it. It's literally just made for opening the metal cans and boxes on a map. 
And the reason you want a green or a white weapon for this is so you can just break it and grab the resources. Next is our box opener. That's our shotgun that we use in the pistol slot. As you can see, it opens the box right up, like the box wasn't even there. It's a green box opener. All right, let's show you how to get ammo for that, though. So how do we get lots of box opener ammo? Because shotgun ammo is expensive to make. Well, it's not expensive to make in this demonstration. What you want to do is make the blue shotgun, the regular blue shotgun, not the broken one. Just go to firearms and craft a bunch of S1000 shotguns. You'll notice it takes firing units. However, whenever we break it down, you'll also notice we get that firing unit back and half our materials back. So actually, it's incredibly cheap to make these. And every time you make one, you get four ammo. Now, if you make a bunch of these, you end up getting that four, then eight, 16, yeah, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, so forth. But it keep going up by four. So make a bunch of shotguns, get a bunch of ammo, and there we have ammo for our box opener. Good for bosses, mortars, so forth. All right, let's go to our next weapon. I don't know why I'm waiting here. Oh, I was just equipping some ammo. <laughs> All right. All right, on to our next weapon. Next is what I call crowd control. This is what our bow is for. Our bow is our main enemy killer. See all these enemies? Now that was a Cuban crystal. That's just to get their attention, but watch what this bow does with flame arrows, specifically flame arrows, and it works for green bows as well. But this is why you want your flame arrows. It gets rid of enemies incredibly fast in groups. This is also what your fences are for. If you place a fence, all the enemies gang on the fence, and then you shoot a flame arrow and clean them. That's your crowd control. Next. Next is what I call our mortar cleaner. Your grenades are called mortar cleaners because mortars are the most annoying enemy in the entire game. So always throw one or two grenades. I prefer to throw two, but most of the time I need one for weaker enemies. That's it, guys. Take care. And remember, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you dislike this video, please dislike and subscribe. Peace out, guys.